The Do Not Disturb feature in iOS will silence calls, alerts, and notifications. Do Not Disturb can quickly be activated from Control Center by tapping on the Moon icon here. While active, the Moon icon will appear in the top right of the display. We can also turn Do Not Disturb on and off within the Settings app. Do Not Disturb has its own Settings section. From here it's possible to set a schedule for Do Not Disturb. I'll set my quiet hours to be from 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. In the silence settings, when Do Not Disturb is active, I can choose to always have silence, or only when the device is locked. This means that I can have Do Not Disturb on, but when I'm actively using the device, I will still get alert sounds. But when I lock the device again, Do Not Disturb will once again prevent alert sounds. So if you wanted, you could have Do Not Disturb on all the time and only hear alert sounds when you have the device unlocked. Tap Allow Calls From and I can allow calls to still make a sound from everyone, no one, or a particular contacts group. Enable Repeated Calls and if someone's calling you repeatedly in a short amount of time, their call will ring through. We also can have Do Not Disturb activate automatically while we're driving. With automatically selected here, Do Not Disturb while driving will turn off based on the phone sensing motion. This can be a problem if you're in the passenger seat of a vehicle or riding in a bus. The best option for Do Not Disturb while driving is for it to activate when the phone is connected to your car's Bluetooth system. This will automatically turn it off when you enter and then exit your car. When Do Not Disturb While Driving is active, we can set up auto replies that can be sent to all your contacts, favorites, recents, or nobody. You can also customize the auto reply message here. Finally, we can enable Do Not Disturb for individual conversations in the Messages app. To do so, just swipe left on a conversation and choose Hide Alerts. This will allow alerts from other conversations to continue to come through, but not from this one. This can be really handy if you have a group text and others in the group are sending a lot of messages at a time that you really don't want to be getting all those alerts. This can also be done from within the conversation by tapping the Info button here and turning on Hide Alerts.